Now you can see the disk here. There is data in with this disk and same method or procedure in node 2. Disconnect, connect, select or check enable multipath. Okay, okay, disk manager or disk management. Change drive letter for CD ROM, or you can keep it default, but make sure both disk drive letter should be same in node 1 and node 2. online online so this is witness change drive path later change q okay yes and this is d again make sure both nodes have same drive later for disk here yeah these two disk now next step we have finished this fourth step now fifth step create windows failover cluster and modify cluster disk you can create windows failover cluster in node 1 node 2 or uh, sql witness i am going to create in sql witness server go this one and tools Fillover cluster manager. There is nothing now. First, we need to validate configuration. Validate configuration. Next, and select server or cluster. First, we need to select the servers. Which servers we are going to uh, keep in cluster. this node 1 1 and node 2 these two servers are going to keep in this cluster okay next next it is testing all the settings it will take few minutes to complete it is taking down and bringing up the disks to validate here both nodes are validated node 1 and node 2 and all reports are success if you want to see the reports you can click here and it will open in browser here is the report you can see warnings there is one warning and warning is at least two independent paths to storage target are recommended for each test disk and because of I have created in single path or same path so that's why this is the warning so that's fine now we are good to go check create the cluster now using validated nodes it will create uh, the cluster next and cluster name uh, it will create one virtual pc so i am going to name it demo cluster demo cluster next and these two nodes are going to be used for this demo cluster and check it all eligible storage to the cluster next here in domain controller active directory domain controller in in same container it will create one 
virtual server this is demo cluster that's fine and this fine do report there is no error so it is fine finish there is demo cluster roles there is no roles because of we haven't created any roles so that's fine nodes there is two nodes and two both are up and from here you can see all the reports or summary like summary network connections roles there is no role because of we haven't configured it that's fine disk i think node one is taking the disk now yeah fine and full physical disk yeah that's fine go to stories and disk these are the disks so i'm going to rename this one witness disk and this is data disk iSCSI data and this is 30 GB and this is 1 GB that's fine yes so now we need to we have complete this 50 state step now we need to go through or configure failover cluster and SQL server in any node six step so I will continue with node one first of all download SQL server 2017 I have already downloaded I'm going to mount this one and set up yes and click on installation from here in first we will install sql failover uh, the cluster i will not use microsoft update for now that's fine next so details everything is passed that's fine next i will use developer version because of this is my test lab so i don't need product key if you have product key and you are using in production you need to enter product key for me this is developer free version trial version next i accept i accept the license terms feature selection you can select your features from here but for now i will select only the database engine and it will select the dependencies for failover cluster failover and cluster next uh, sql server network name it will create new okay select your data disk it is already selected because of this is only the available disk so fine if you have static ip uncheck this one and enter your correct ip but uh, i will continue with dscp that's fine next okay provide your user account for the services this is my user account for services it's fine enter password for the selected user next okay i will add current user this is my database admin and sharepoint admin so i will use this user is a sql server administrator next yeah, this is the summary for the setup 
click on install this uh, issue popped out because of I have created a different container uh, than the default container uh, 